guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a part two of my Diary of a Messy Person series. It's not my favorite thing to be doing <laughs> right now just because it's a little embarrassing, but um, I don't know, it's kind of fun and it's giving me like accountability and I've had a lot more motivation lately to be cleaning, doing things I need to do. My art room is still clean, it's looking good. And so I'm happy about that. The rest of my house is getting there. And today my mission was my bedroom. And I was just like, you know what? Why don't I tackle my bathroom too and record it? And that's kind of like <sighs> something I've been avoiding because I have a lot of beauty stuff and I... Oh, him's right there. <laughs> but um, yes, I have a lot of beauty stuff and I need to get rid of a whole bunch of it. So I need to... You gonna come in or out? Dad's playing the game, I don't wanna hear him. So basically I need to go through all of my stuff. Um, I'm gonna get rid of some stuff. I'm going to organize it, figure out where I'm gonna put it in my bathroom and just kind of go from there. I thought I'd bring you along and maybe you can kind of relate to the craziness that is my bathroom right now. But yeah, so um, bear in mind a lot of the stuff that I have, I just, <laughs> I cleaned my room, I cleaned like other places of the house. So a lot of the stuff in there is just like all over the counter because I like just tossed stuff from around the house on the counter. But I'm not gonna lie, it was already pretty bad anyways. So, I mean, it's still bad. So I'm just gonna show you what my counter looks like right now so that you can see like the after and then I'll bring you along with me for all the organizational fun. All right. Okay, don't judge me. It's bad. It's real bad. I understand. Okay, it's bad. I get it. And then right here, still bad. So that's what I'm working with. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put everything on the floor, start organizing. Um, I'm probably going to go get my lighting equipment because it's pretty dark right now. And I need to close this so it's not a shining beacon of hope in your faces. All right, hello. <laughs> I love this guy just like photo or photo bombing. Is this still photo bombing if it's a video? I don't know, tell me. Hims just comes to say hi. Hims wants to be the star of all the shows. Yes, say hello. Okay, jumper. Okay, but yes. So I'm gonna get started on that. bucket and a couple other buckets. Um, going to try and keep Coda out of everything because anytime I'm on the floor like doing stuff he seems to think that it's for him. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes but I'm just going to start organizing and sorting things through you know what I want, what I don't want, what I... I'm also gonna do like things that I would use regularly and then things that like it would be nice to use sometimes but I won't use all the time. Anyways, I am just going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> You're such a dork. Um, can you move? Um, excuse me. Koda? Sir? Um, excuse me? Sir? May you please remove your buttocks? Can you please lay down in your bed, sir? Come on. Terrible accent, ignore me. <laughs>
to, I moved things around a little bit, moved Koto's bed over here, so it's not going to keep him over there, but I'm assuming you guys probably don't mind. <laughs> or maybe that's just me, I'm biased because I think he's so cute. But um, hopefully you guys can kind of see stuff and then I won't have to just speed up through the entire thing because that would be kind of boring. Um, well, um, listen Linda, hey, look at this. Don't look at that actually, that's my shoe. Go lay down, go lay down. Go lay down. I don't want to have to kennel you. Lay down or kennel? Which one? Lay down or kennel? You can come in sometimes. You have to wait. No, no, no. Not right now. Good boy. I mentioned in some of my previous videos that I was in the process of getting diagnosed with Meniere's disease. And kind of funny story, I already was and didn't realize it. So my last video, I talked about how um, my doctor was referring me to a uh, ear specialist in Minneapolis, which is like four hours away from where I live and how I was like kind of frustrated because I didn't want to have to drive four hours to get a diagnosis. Um, I called her and was trying to talk to her about it and just kind of explain her my situation. And she was like, no, 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 no you 100% have Meniere's disease. I was just sending you there to look at treatment options because like there's a surgeon there that does a surgery that could like kind of help, but I already know about the surgery and it's not something that I want because there's not really much you can do for Meniere's and a lot of the um, solutions generally end up like hurting your, your hearing worse. Um, and I don't have dizziness bad enough. You know what? I'm just like getting way too into it, but basically, I have Meniere's disease. There was just kind of a lapse in communication there. So actually, she told me that there's another ENT here locally who has a lot of patients that have Meniere's disease. So I'm probably going to make an appointment with him and just kind of see what he has to say about it. But um, there's not a lot that's known about Meniere's disease. It's not a super, super common disease. Um, and it affects a lot of people very differently. So I'm still learning about it and I kind of want to do a video on it, but I want to like understand it a little bit more and be able to kind of explain to you guys like how I experience it more before I do. So I'll probably be doing that pretty soon. Okay. I mentioned this concealer in my last video. I need to get a new one really bad. It's like barely even any left in there now but I love it so much I use okay if I ever talk about makeup or I'm wearing makeup or you know you just happen to be one of my like 30 subscribers who is just curious about what I do to my face just assume I always wear the lightest shade and everything because your girl is really fair really really fair oh I wish you could see him right now he he's giving me good snuggles Okay, so now I have some nail stuff. This probably needs to be replaced. Um, makeup that I don't really wear, some like skincare stuff. I use that toothbrush to clean my wedding ring. Um, things that I use pretty often right here, stuff that just needs to go under the sink. And then that pile right there, stuff I'm probably getting rid of. I have a brush that I like way more than that one and I haven't touched that one like pretty much since we've been here so almost a year so I should just get rid of it but I'm going to go ahead and put all of this away you know it really wouldn't be a video on my channel without Koda popping in like 10 times right is that for you no it's not it's not for you all right so now that everything's organized I'm just going to hurry up and get it all back in the bathroom and hopefully it will be a lot prettier in there after all of this. So, um, that's all. I was trying to figure out how I could set up the camera to where you can just like see what I'm doing, but I don't think that's possible in here. 
So I am just going to hold it with one hand and organize said drawer with the other. Hopefully it's not too um, all over the place. If I do my makeup, I always use these, almost always use those. These can kind of go there. This can go towards the front. Um, this can go here. And then the rest of this stuff, let's see. Oh, I have to sneeze. <coughs> oh God. I don't know if I'm gonna edit that out or not. I'm such a loud sneezer. Oh man. Um, this, I don't really use that often. Honestly, I don't really get fixing sprays. I just, they feel nice. So <laughs> there you go. Um, if you have really fair skin, this thing is kind of a nice hack. Um, it is a under eye corrector. It's like a really light peach color. I can just put this all over my face, practically like a concealer slash foundation, especially if you're doing a no makeup makeup look. This is really perfect for that because you just put them on like your red spots or under your eyes on your eyelids and it makes you look brightened and just kind of gives you a natural pinky tone if you have a fair pinky colored skin situation going on like myself. Um, this Mary Luminizer Best Highlighter for Super Fair Skin, in my personal opinion, look, that's what I have left, all because I broke it. So I'm saving it. Well, I use it still, but you know, I kept it, is what I mean. <laughs> Okay, so my skincare stuff, I'm probably just gonna leave on top of my jewelry box. I'd take my phone case off so I could record. Um, the top of my jewelry box needs to be clean because it has makeup all over it, which is probably not the nicest. I painted this myself and I left my wet beauty blender here and now the paint is coming off. So that's great. This is skincare too, so maybe I'll leave that on here, you know, just like a little skincare station. Do you get what I'm, the vibe I'm going for right there? No, maybe, maybe not. That fits right there. Shabuya. This blush, unfortunately, has to stay out because it is broken and I don't wanna buy a new one. And if I put it in the drawer, it's going to get everywhere. So, that's to stay out. I have to put away that. I'm gonna throw away this. Beauty Blender because I have that one and that's actually new despite what it looks like. So, bam, look at that. All the things are gone. See? And now I need to clean my mirror. That's great. So I don't know if these videos are fun or not. I mean, it's kind of nice for me to be able to just like have motivation to clean I'm not the biggest cleaner, but I am getting there. Like, honestly, I can say with confidence I've been doing a lot better and proud of myself. Even my husband today was like, you've been really on things. Like, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of him too, because me being on things has made him, you know, step up his game too. So that's been good. But now that everything's like cleaned off, I'm probably going to just actually clean my bathroom, like the counter, the mirror, all that fun stuff um, off camera because this is probably really long already. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you are also a messy person. If you're a clean person, you can tell me that too, and I will try not to cry. <laughs> Just kidding. Be clean. Don't be like me. Anyways, you guys have a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. What is happening to my face? Oh my lord. Oh, gosh, exposure. It's too much.